dollars sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is DJ Ola7 Owen. We're Madondo here on the Ola7 Podcast Show. It is the Genius Kids where we get to interact with these young ones. You know, we talk to the Genius Kids. You know, so many kids are, I mean, gifted in so many ways. Uh, I'm very gifted in robotics, academics, you know, craft, sports, you name them. But today, it's a different show. I have this young man here in studio who is exceptionally good in academics and art as well. He is, um, you know, has a talent for luxury cars and he draws to the dot. drawings, drawings, manyama. This guy is so good. And trust me, just one of my drawings again, man, So his name is um, Cornelius Emmanuel Muzenda. Welcome to the show, young man. How are you? I'm fine, DJ Ola, and it's a great pleasure to be here. Nice on you. Welcome, my brother. And, um, you know, when I saw your, your drawings, when I first saw your drawings, you know, some time ago, I'm like, okay, who is this guy? And um, your dad approached me and said, like, you know, my, 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 my son is a good, uh, he's good at drawing. I'm like, okay, let's see what he does. So now we are here. Uh, t -t Tell us more about yourself. Um, I am 14 years old. I'm the first born in a family of four children, mm -hmm. and I started drawing when I was in grade two. Grade two? Uh, yes. Wow. That was in 2018. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, it used to be some sort of mischief writing in classwork books, mm -hmm. but I then quickly realized that I had a talent for drawing cars. Wow. On only cars? No, I also draw planes, but I focus more on cars because I've I've set myself in a position whereby I want to be an automotive engineer or a pilot. Wow, that's a big dream. Automotive engineer right here in the studio with me <laughs> on the Genius Kids show. So, what position are you in the family? Um, the first born in a family of four children. Mm -hmm. Four children? Yes, two boys, two girls. Wow, so it's a balanced equation. Yes. <laughs> and uh, which school do you go to? Currently, I am at Direct Contacts High School. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is it? I'm in Mandara. Mandara? Yes. Oh, nice. Now, t tell me about uh, you know your favorite subject. You know, when I was in primary, it used to be content. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then it was content. I don't know if you, still, if you guys still have that uh, subject. Content. Well, science is my favorite subject because mm -hmm. it's that subject which always is always challenging you to think harder, mm -hmm. faster, and we keep on improving. Mm, yes. Science. So you are, you said you're in form one. Now. Yes, form one, and you're doing science. Uh, there's integrated science, also bio. This and that. You, which, which, which one are you doing? Uh, we do chemistry, bio, and combined science. Combined science. Yes. Oh, nice. That's interesting. So, you know, um, who are your friends at school? And, uh, you know, uh, if you have any, maybe you don't have. 
Tanya and Ninyasha mm-hmm. and during our play time we focus on building this website called ESA mm-hmm. um, it was inspired by the first lady Amaya Oxilia Mnangagwa wow. through the ways she's helping the girl child mm-hmm. um, for example she helps the girl child fight abuse mm-hmm. seek education and seek employment yes. so our website is there to help those girls look for education mm-hmm. find employment and residency wow that's yes. big now that's yes. that's big you know and uh, i want to understand from your parents side do they support you you know your talent in any way yes my parents are really really supportive towards mm-hmm. my talent mm-hmm. they are the ones who are always pushing me to work hard and focus mm. yes how do they support you so firstly they are the ones who market my drawings if mm-hmm. i'm done with my pieces wow. they are the ones who post around on social media telling mm-hmm. people what i do Mm. Yes. So how do you I mean describe your your art to someone who has never I mean has seen it it is art it is art based off an imagination or a real life image and then drawn onto an A3 paper okay like a real picture yes. or a real something a real vehicle then you put it on paper yes wow that must be uh, I mean a huge task yeah it's really huge <laughs> okay no I, I I understand so uh what um i mean uh, or your major influences what i can say is that i don't really have major influences but i can say that that talent and passion mm-hmm. keeps pushing me to to pursue my talent so how has your you know style evolved from the time you started till now well when it was in 2018 i used to draw stickman figures <laughs> but through practicing I was able to improve and improve my drawings to see to what I could do mm-hmm. better. But do, do you have like a coach? Um I can say my father is the one who's always pushing me to mm-hmm. do and work hard. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I, I mean the coach in, in in the sense that I don't know no but this is not you know coming out nice you should do it this way or something like that or you are just self taught. I'm not I'm self taught. Self taught. Yes. Wow, so this is like a real talent. Yes. In born thing. Wow. So can you walk us through your creative process? So firstly, I identify the image I'm about to draw mm-hmm. and then I take my A3 paper and then sketch it. If I'm satisfied, mm-hmm. I then continue to do an in-depth drawing of the car. Mm-hmm. Then after I'm done, I frame it and hang it on the wall. Wow. Yes. Just like that. So you yes. just use a pencil. Yes, an HB pencil. Okay. Cuz I see, you know, some other, you know, uh guys who are into art as well. They do they do have uh, different pencils you know to put different colors and this and that so you just uh, focus on plain white yes okay so i mean what sets uh, your work apart from other artists you know of your age i am able to draw and i'm able to also review the car i have drawn on the paper mm-hmm. and inter- interpret in depth about the car mm. yes okay I, I, maybe be soon you show us you know what you what do you do? Yes. And what has been the most challenging piece you have worked on and why? The M5 competition, the BMW M5 competition was the most challenging because it was a transition from an A3 paper to an A1. Mm-hmm. And an A1 is like four times bigger than an yes. A3. Yes. So firstly, you need to focus. Mm-hmm. You need time. You need um, patience mm-hmm. to fully give out a picture. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how long uh, does it take to... In- Come up with a complete picture. Um, on A one or on A three? A one. Um, that one took me about two days to then fully complete it because mm. it was the first time mm-hmm. doing it on an A one. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, that was that's a big one, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Really big. So how do you overcome you know creative blocks? Well, I try again and again until I'm able to fully show the picture I'm drawing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's say if I fail. I keep on drawing until I'm satisfied. You know, so many people out there they just take art for for granted. Yes. But uh, as for you, according to you, I mean, what role does an artist have in society? An artist is there to create a sense of belonging, mm-hmm. um to bring joy and entertainment to the community. Mm-hmm. Yes, to interpret deeper truths about the society. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm sure you guys are learning. I'm sure you guys are, um, you know, getting some nitty gritties from this guy, young man Cornelius Muzenda, with me here in studio. Uh, he's a 
good artists. I will draw my drawings. I will show you uh, just now. Now, mumbo mawana zvaro kudraw zvano ita. So maybe your son or your daughter will be inspired. I did diga to start a drawing as well. So most artists, you know, want to have an ex an exhibition, you know, uh, to show off their works. Um, what's your take on that? Yes, exhibitions are important because they allow an artist to to show off their work to other people. Mm -hmm. They can even also interact with other artists and share ideas. Mm -hmm. And it helps one market and make money. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, one would want to understand, you know, what type of material do you use when drawing? So, firstly, I use an HP pencil, mm -hmm. a ruler, a rubber, and an A3 mm -hmm. paper. So, you need a rubber because sometimes you might be making some mistakes in yes. there. They need to correct that as well. Yes. Okay, okay. So, are the resources enough, you know, my brother, uh, to pursue your dream? Uh, are they available? For now... I'm in a family of four children mm -hmm. and uh, children who have different talents. So what I can say is that the resources aren't enough mm -hmm. because I want to be more technical. Mm -hmm. I want to keep up with technology. Mm -hmm. So for now, the resources aren't enough mm. because you see those artists who are using who design cars. Yeah. They use those graphics tablets to actually put out an image mm -hmm. and show how it's supposed to come out in real life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I understand. And I'm sure your dad is, you know, watching... He's going to <laughs> take note of that and maybe yes. try to provide, you know, yeah, to give you more um, uh, resources as well. Yes. So, you know, earlier on you mentioned about, um, you know, drawing cars and, you know, you said planes as well, right? Yes. So, why drawing cars and not something else? Why cars exclusively? So, as I said, Ola, um, I want to put myself in a position whereby I am able to be an automotive engineer mm -hmm. and a pilot. Mm -hmm. So I focus on cars exclusively. And those plans. Yes. Guys, so one would wonder, okay, but since you are a good artist, yes. why limit yourself to that? Yes, of course, you, you mentioned about uh, being an automotive engineer and, and, and other, you know, but why limit yourself? Why can't you just, why don't you draw something else? But yet to say, what you need to do? Well, Ola, I am able to draw anything mm -hmm. you tell me to draw. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a talent and passion for yeah. cars, oh, yeah. which keeps on making me work hard on cars mm -hmm. and not focus on anything else. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now I understand. This is amazing. <laughs> Cornelius Mzenda on the Genius Kids as show. Um, okay, let's move on. Uh, did you bring any of your works? Yes, I brought my works and I never leave them wherever I go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Take us through that. Timbo, now Agamira say now he's about to show us, you know, what he draws during his spare time. Wow. So this is the Rolls Royce Spectra. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you are familiar with this one. This one, yes. yes. Uh, it's all over social media. Exactly. I, I saw it on uh, Saving News. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so saving your driving this one. Yes. This is the Rolls Royce Spectre he recently brought in. Mm -hmm. Yes. And here is the Mercedes Benz S500. S500. Wow. Yes. Wow. And this is the one Sewick no gifted Japraiser. Japraiser, yes. 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 Here Whoa. we've got the Maybach GLS 600. Uh -huh. um, I was inspired when I saw Auntie Zodwa going to pick um, mom keys at the airport. Exactly. And I was really fascinated with the way the camera was going all around oh. the car. <laughs> yes. So I then decided to put it on paper. Wow. Yes. Wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. Right. This one, you might know it too. Uh -huh. You know... The one, the yellow one. The yellow it's one. All over social media. <laughs> um, this is the Lamborghini Avantador. The yes. exact one, the uh, profit person in Java has. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. Then, lastly, before we go to planes, <laughs> I've brought your car, DJ Ola, the Mercedes Benz <laughs> ML350 Blue Tech. <laughs> Guys, go now. Can you see that? Can you see that? Show, show, show them. Okay, show them. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's my Mercedes. But how did you know that I drive a, a, a blue tech? Well, you know, through questioning you. <laughs> yeah, so we got to know. 
So he just brought a surprise, guys. Yes. You know, um, he, he drew well, my Mercedes Benz there. Well, enough about cars. <laughs> Let's talk about planes. Wow. This is the M4 F14 Tomcat. Wow. Um, I was inspired when I saw this movie called Top Gun. It's a mm-hmm. popular movie. Yes. So I was really fascinated with the way Tom Cruise mm-hmm. was really piloting his plane. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So that's the inspiration be- behind that one. Uh-huh. And this one is a Bombardier Global 7500. Mm. Um, this one is for the businessmen. Wow. Who are always on the on the run. Like my private jet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So I really didn't bring my whole catalog because mm-hmm. I knew we would spend the whole time on our show. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy is crazy, trust me. But anyways, um, I really appreciate you know, the drawings. And um, you are so talented, my brother. Yes. You are very, very, very talented. And you go far, trust me. You go far. Um, and I'm sure I also go but you, uh, you go far, like I say. Thank you. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, um, let's talk about um, part of your hobbies, you know. Uh, I understand uh, watching car review shows, uh, is part of your hobbies when you sit at home. But uh, which one is your favorite show and why? Well, actually, I have two. Mm-hmm. And the number one show is Kawao by Matt Watson. And I think most of you guys are familiar with that one. Mm-hmm. The reason why I like Matt is because he's able to review a wide range of cars. Mm-hmm. He's not focused on one simple model or brand of a car. Mm-hmm. And the second one is Super Car Blondie. She bring, she's a female mm-hmm. and she bring and she brings the blonde concept into yes. the automotive yes. industry. Yes. So I'm inspired by the way she reviews her cars mm-hmm. because she's a blonde and she's a woman. Mm-hmm. So me too, I want to bring my uniqueness into the industry, which is being an auto, which is being an young upcoming sketch artist yes. and a car reviewer. Yes. Wow, yes. this is amazing. Um, you know, part of um, I, 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 like you said. You also review cars. Yes. Uh, and when you review cars, you know, is it just electric cars or all cars? Well, Ola, I am able to do reviews of all cars, mm-hmm. but I, f- I focus only on luxury cars because mm-hmm. that's where I feel like, yeah, that's my place. Mm-hmm. And I want to be an automotive engineer mm-hmm. for, some, for a company which deals with luxury cars. But do you also do um, X job? You know, vehicles, because these are the common, car, common yes. cars in, yeah, in Zimbabwe. Yes, when you're talking of luxury, we will never forget Japan, mm-hmm. because that's where most of those luxury cars f- come from. Mm-hmm. For example, Lexus, mm-hmm. it's a it's a brand under Toyota. Yes. So if you notice, Lexus means luxury exports mm-hmm. to the US. Mm. So I focus also on those ex-Japan cars. Wow. So on your way here, what type of car uh, was it driving? He was driving a Mercedes Benz C200 CGI. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. What's your favorite luxury car? My favorite luxury car is the Rolls Royce Spectre. The one with the Seawig now. Yes. So maybe I would ask uh, Seawig to take you, you know, for a road trip one day. Ah, oh, like that would be a dream come true. Right. Yes. So say I think jump on a jet. You got to do I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'll talk to him, you know, offline. Try to to run out she road trip. Thank you for Rolls Royce Spectra. Okay. So, about uh, you know what do you like about the car? That car you said you you, you like. Well, that car is amazing. Mm-hmm. Firstly, they have changed the outlook of the car mm-hmm. from its predecessor, the Phantom Coupe. Mm. We go on to into the interior. Mm-hmm. It comes with heated seats which are able to massage you at the same time, mm-hmm. which is different from any other car. Yes. The, it comes with a bespoke digital instrument um, assistant, which helps the driver. Mm-hmm. Let's say you're traveling yes. and you are busy on your phone. Mm-hmm. You can That assistant can help you set your car as, at a speed. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, cruise control. Mm-hmm. The car will automatically set the car into cruise control. Right. And let's say you're drifting off course, mm-hmm. it will it will warn you and that warning is called a lane departure warning mm. which can help prevent an accident wow yes wow wow and uh, how do you evaluate a car's performance so firstly you check at the engine type mm-hmm. um for example um, we have v6 v8 v12 mm-hmm. and a v10 so 
the bigger the engine gets, the more power it's able mm. to produce. Mm. A V6 has, six, has three cylinders on the left and three cylinders on the right. right. So the ro- number of rotations it's putting out per second mm-hmm. um, are equal to the um, number of horsepower it's going to give out. Mm-hmm. So the, the, the less valves we have, the less horsepower we have, but just they increase and, cre- in, in, and increase, mm-hmm. the horsepower increases too. Mm. Yes. Okay. And then the shape of the car. Yeah actually determines its performance. Mm-hmm. We can take a box and something which is over shaped. Mm-hmm. A box is brought down by A and uh, and something secular mm-hmm. is able to pass through A without any distractions. Okay. Yes. So which one is the best? The box one or the secular? The secular one. The secular one? Yes. Oh, okay. So when you say the secular one, are you referring to these uh, sedans? Um, I can't say sedans, but they are coupes. Oh, like, oh, yeah. Yes, you know the one say we know gave DJ Fountain. DJ Fountain, yeah. yeah that yes, shape that it goes down. That G L E. Yes. Oh, it's the best. Yes. Wow. Okay. So Fountain, you're driving the best car. <laughs> so, in your opinion, what's the best luxury car on the market right now? The Rolls Royce Spectra mm-hmm. is the best luxury car on the market right mm. now. Obviously, as someone who knows cars as you do, do you have, um, I mean, med celebs? Uh, which celebs have you, uh, I mean, have your favorite car? Uh, yeah, I know from um, it's a week now with the Rolls Royce Spectra. Mm-hmm. Yes. Allow me to speak in my native language. Yes. This Rolls Royce Spectre, I can't find it. I need to be ready. I need to get it. Yeah. So we took our name, Kana, and 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 we took our name, Kana, expecting this uh, response but anyway it's amazing uh so i am going to make sure that we can create that motor yeah so we'll watch around. let me talk about the car mm-hmm. this one yeah wow ah my one what's special about this car is mm-hmm. that it's the first all electric rolls royce vehicle and it has a dual motor which produces 430 kilowatts or 577 horsepower mm. and 900 newton meters of torque. Wow. It has a boot capacity of 380 liters, which is something which is huge for a luxury car mm-hmm. like this. Yes. And it has a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. Wow. And it takes off from the line. 250? Yes, 250 kilometers per hour. A luxury vehicle mm-hmm. that's why mm-hmm. um it takes off from the line reaching 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds Aish. which is actually good for a luxury car like mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. and then it comes with 23 inch alloy wheels which are standard with an option for 24s and 22s mm-hmm. yes and then it has a ground clearance of 220 millimeters or 20 centimeters mm-hmm. yes okay okay this is amazing uh, guys, did you know all these facts about this car? You know, that is why I'm sure I say we now uh, had to buy this one. Because I'm not a bomb. But get me the way say electric. This is by far the most intelligent Rolls Royce ever. Mm-hmm. Or let's say most intelligent car. What do you mean car. by intelligent? It has an artificial intelligence system which has 141,200 sender receiver functions mm. which allow it to receive, process, and exchange data in fast real time. Okay. Yes. Let's say power ka accident. Mm-hmm. Ola. This car is able to quickly hey. react. Yeah. To mira ipapu, ipapu, ipapu. Ipapu, ipapu. Yes. Chiroji drive. Chiroji drive. You know, talk mira wa Wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, so this is the safest car, yeah. right? This one specifically, it comes with a driver's assistance called Ilano. Mm-hmm. Is when I'm you get distracted. Mm-hmm. Um, the car will monitor your behavior mm-hmm. and you will be able to adapt to the driver's needs. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. No, amazing. So do you have any dream cars you'd love to, to review someday? Yes. So firstly, this one mm-hmm. is the number one priority. Yes. The Rolls Royce Spectra. Mm-hmm. We go on to the Mercedes-Benz mm-hmm. S500. Yes. 
move on to the Lamborghini mm-hmm. Aventador. Wow. The Mercedes Benz GLS Maybach 600. Yes. Maybach. Yes. I love that one. Uh, yeah, one day. It's a huge brand. Huh? Ah, this is this is nice. Then of course yours. <laughs> 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 and then I have a dream of also reviewing a Bombardier Global 7500 mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. F14 Yes, yes, yes. All these plans. Yes. Okay. So at least the there and the blue check one is outside. So after after this you can you can review it. Yeah, yes. yeah, you're free to do so. Yes, <laughs> but and it's, it's, it's rare. Remind me to sign these papers after the show. Okay. Yes. So you, you need to sign them, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I I would definitely do that. So, what do you think of electric, um, you know, luxury cars? It's a huge step in this generation because of carbon dioxide emissions. Mm-hmm. If you check, we have over 1.4 billion cars, and imagine that each car is releasing about 20 milligrams of carbon dioxide oh, yes, every yes. hour. Mm-hmm. So that's polluting the environment. The environment yeah. So electric cars are actually saving the environment by reducing carbon emissions mm-hmm. into the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, but I think. Oh, yeah, the challenge here in Zimbabwe, you know, we do not have those uh, charging ports. Do we have that at the moment? Um, what I have noticed is that the people are actually implementing and doing projects to fund those electric ports. Mm-hmm. And yes, they are actually having some in Harare. Mm-hmm. And if you notice, there are some Japanese brands which are coming in with electric, electric cars. cars. Yes, yeah, yeah, so sure. of course those cars will get somewhere to charge. Mm-hmm. And you know, in Japan, things are cheap, so mm-hmm. they are able to do and they are able to fund us yes. with those electric charging mm-hmm. ports. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So how do you balance school work, you know, car profiling and drawing? Um, I've drafted a timetable, which is which helps me know what time is for school, mm-hmm. which time is for car profiling, and which time is for drawing. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you separate? I separate those times. Yes. So, you know, would you like to be a brand ambassador for some luxury cars in Zimbabwe, you know, like Zimoko? And do you know what a brand ambassador does? Well, Ola, I have to stop you there. <laughs> That would be a dream come true wow. to become a brand ambassador for a prestigious brand mm-hmm. like Simoko. Mm-hmm. And yes, a brand ambassador is someone is the face of the brand, mm-hmm. is the one who helps the brand brand visibility, yes. the one who carries the brand through the highs and mm-hmm. lows. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So Simoko team, here's your boy here, Cornelius Muzenda. Your boy. He's very intelligent. I'm sure you can you guys can see it. The guy is very intelligent and also a genius Spaniard. They could draw, draw easy and also reviewing cars. So I'm sure whenever you guys release a new car, I'm sure he's the best guy to do some reviews on your behalf as the brand ambassador. Now, don't think it's like a Yeah. So do you drive? James Kanza, yes. <laughs> I've gone behind the wheel hey. a couple of times. Okay. Well, I won't tell my mom this, but please promise you won't tell it. I won't. There's this time power camp was here, Benz, yaga park, and she da kuki when it indeed gears, she had a function. So ni engo yangu yaga park and ansuru ni atu kwanza gears at the other side. When angu itam scan some van dai park, ni chepa side. Bobo. Yeah, bobo. When atu tanga gears. So right. yeah, although I'm still under the age of sixteen, yes. Tishiru kundi no to drive. I did it. Yes. But if you have to take up a lot of the road, just a lot of road to run train. Ah, kuru and do it. Wakam but this way road is just just because kuona kuona to just drive. Um no I haven't really been taught mm-hmm. but from experience kajin chikacho ano chitamba my game yes. technology wa mm-hmm. octogo na octo zidzira drive mm-hmm. through those games mm-hmm. yes okay so in Zimbabwe we've got uh, you know go kart racing have you ever been to a go kart race actually i haven't been to a go kart racing mm-hmm. But now that you have brought it up mm-hmm. i'll look into it okay yes so before we before we wrap, it, uh, we wrap up where do you see yourself in future in the car profiling circles. Well, I want to wake up one day being called by big brands like Mercedes-Benz, mm-hmm. Range Rover, Lexus, mm-hmm. asking Cornelius, can you please um, design a car for us? Tuda mota inofamba musango, mota inofamba pa road. And it's going to go to the ground. Yes. That's how I want to wake up and change that. I'm now an e designer of a car. Wow, a car that's brand. a big dream, my brother. Yes. So what would you like to say to you know other kids out there who are watching on this uh, show uh, who are also talented just like you? 
or I want to say in to those kids never give up pursuing your dreams and talent mm-hmm. and always aim for greater heights. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you so much Cornelius for coming. Thank you DJ Ola. Okay. That was uh, Cornelius Muzenda here on the Genius Kids show. You know, he's just a genius and uh, don't ever genius kids are. So guys, this program is for your kids and also for you guys who are able to see and get inspired. And I want to say a big shout out to Samuel Mutendi um, School uh, in Belvedere. Uh, this other day, I, I received a clip whereby a teacher was uh, you know, showing uh, her students um, one of our shows here uh, from the Genius Kids show, one of our shows. Uh, and we, I remember on that show we were talking about uh, astronomy, you know, and also um, animation. So yes. now they're using this show to teach their children in classes. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate this. And that is why we keep on bringing these amazing kids on this uh, platform, the Genius Kids Show. Thank you so much for watching. My name is DJ Ola7. Owen, we'll come out on until next time. Bye-bye. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and and your family buy groceries pay school fees renew your insurance pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone and you're guaranteed access to usd cash from any registered eco cash outlet nationwide tell your family in the diaspora to send money with sasai money transfer today let's fight the el nino induced drought together eco cash live life the eco cash way It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.